Hello loves, I'm grateful to have another opportunity to share with you my experience knowledge and wisdom during our searching process. Yay! I just left a friend at the station. We had a really great time today. I really want to make this video because it's on my mind and uh, I'm walking to my apartment and that's going to take about 20 minutes so why not just dibble jabble with you guys, right? So I was talking with my mother and we were just discussing about spiritual things and you know I want to ask you guys what do you carry around your backpack <laughs> Christian uh, stationary duh <laughs> no I mean metaphorically what do you carry in your backpack like everyone has a backpack right and everyone decides to put stuff inside you could say some of the stuff can be gratefulness some of it can be shame, guilt, anger, rage, um, happiness, joyful, jubilation, you know, metaphorically. You know, you could say a book can be a um, positive book or a negative book. You know, like, what are you, what are you walking around town with, you know? The funny thing about this, like, backpack metaphor that me and my mother were laughing at was that here in Japan, everyone carries a backpack. I mean, everyone. Okay. Um, it's kind of like a staple here. Uh, even, you know, locals carry a backpack. Um, however, like, purses are totally okay, too. There's guys who, you know, bring purses, but everyone carries a backpack. And, like... Here, it's like in Japan, it's like a society where they cash in on shame. Um, everything is done behind doors and they cash in on it. So, people are literally here in Japan carrying baggage. They carry repression, they carry guilt, shame, um, ang anger sometimes because they can't. They feel pressure from society and it's just overbearing, you know? Sorry you can't see me. I need to get more in the light. I went on the darker side, just shorter side. Um, ooh, light, baby. So, I, yeah, I want to ask you, like, what are you carrying around? For, um, until I came out as a homo homo sapien, I was carrying around so much guilt that it was like weighing me down like to the point where it causes depression I was depressed for several years actually when I start using um, rec when I was start using uh, illicit drugs um, I was using it as a form of um, coping mechanism and then it built up to the point where it's like okay like I need this to come out because, you know, it's eating me alive and my parents don't know who I really am and, you know, I was really into, like, wanting to <clears throat> share my authenticity with my family, right? And, you know, I got to the point where it does cause suicidal thoughts and if it wasn't for Chelsea Hernandez, oh my gosh, bless her soul. Angel sent from the heavens, I swear, oh my gosh. Okay, sorry, there's like a, oh, I'm over there nodding. Um, if it wasn't for her, if it wasn't for her, I would have like teared off my skin or did something because, I mean, I was to the you know, point where it's like no return because my backpack was completely filled with, you know, emotions that needed to be processed. Okay. I don't want to say they're negative emotions because, you know, the beauty behind the ascension process is that everything is a learning process, right? The information during that experience is what is the beauty of it. Um, so now, you know, since, you know, I've awakened and I'm able to deal more with the information in my emotions, I'm carrying less baggage in my backpack. Right? 
metaphorically speaking. Because let me tell you, during school season, I have my backpack weighs so much. <laughs> um, that's because I feel like I'm underprepared, so I overprepare. Um, hey, look, you guys. Oh, that was such a great picture. So, yeah, I just want to make this video to let you guys know that. Woo! I should actually walk this way. Oh my gosh, I don't know if it's raining or if it's just the mist. Oh my gosh, I gotta make it, gotta make it. I don't want, I, I, this video is not for you to like, you know, do the shadow work that Till Swan um, preaches about. It's more of just, you know, acknowledging right now in this very moment, what baggage do you have? Let it come off the bat. And don't, you don't need to address it as long as you like become aware of it. That's all that really um, allows for the healing process to occur. I just, just in time, yes, um, so I think it was a really important, um, analogy, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna share it with you guys, share my experience, um, I'm still not as light as I want to, I still have things in my backpack, but it's definitely lighter. And I can go more into detail on that. I can make another video. Depending if you like this video, you guys, give it a thumbs up so I know that I like it. And I know that's so stereotypical of me to say, to say, oh, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. But no, really. <laughs> um, I don't get, I do get interaction sometimes on my videos. But, you know, as long as you like the video, it gives me, you know, an idea of what you guys like, you know what you like to talk about but I know I'm going to be uploading videos on things I like to talk about like backpacks and stationery <laughs> um. <laughs> but yeah totally you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying okay this video is too long I just wanted to just you know give you a little something something for today and I hope you are enjoying your life if not Hopefully my video made that happen. I love you guys. Um, the meaning of unconditional love. That's what I give you. And um, yeah, message me. Let's have a conversation about this backpack and stationery. Um, so yeah, totally. Oh, I love that. Okay, I will talk to you later. I will feel you later. Bye.